welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. If you are new to my channel, my name is Chantel, and typically here on my channel, I do lots of Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget. But today, I am going to be sharing with you some of our, my husband and mine, favorite Amazon products that are must-haves for summer. These are all items that we have purchased. They are items that we use and that we love. So I wanted to share them with you. I will link to all of them in the description box below. And just know that when you click on those links and make a purchase, it doesn't cost you any more, but it does give me a little bit of commission. So I appreciate your supporting my channel in that way. So let's jump in to these Amazon must-haves for summer. The first category is keeping cool and comfortable during the hot summer months. So my favorite and uh, my husband's favorite, even though when I first got them, he wasn't that excited about, um, are these cooling towels. We purchased a set of six of these for our trip to Florida that we went on just a week ago, and these were a lifesaver. So they are uh, just a little towel that comes in this nice little zipper pouch, and it has a clip on it. So you can wet this down in the sink and then put it in your little pouch and take it with you. And it's just a nice long towel, 40 inches by 12 inches, I believe. And they come in different colors, but you get them wet and then you wring out some of the excess water and then just put them around your neck. In Florida, we wore them like this a lot just to kind of keep it all up here and not get our shirt all wet and everything, but um, it does feel good even. It kind of makes your shirt a little bit uh, cool as well. And so you can wrap them around your head. I see people wrap them around their arm and use them to wipe their forehead or face. And a lot of times also uh, in Florida, I would take the ends and just uh, wipe my face with it. And it stays cool for quite a while. Once it starts to uh, not feel as cool anymore, you take it and you just give it a couple snaps and it brings the moisture back out and then it'll feel cool for another uh, half hour or so. And then uh, when you wanna refresh it, you just get it wet in a bathroom or sink somewhere, a uh, drinking fountain, <laughs> wherever and um, then you go on about your day. These were a lifesaver in Florida because it was super hot and humid. So that is definitely one of our favorite things for summer. Another item we use to help keep us cool is this rechargeable neck fan. And this comes with a charging cord and it has three speeds. And you just put it around your neck. And as you can see, this is the highest setting. I mean, it's blowing my hair around. I've got some good air going. Um, I like it about on the, the low or medium speed, but uh, this will run for hours on one charge. And so this is great if you're going to be outside for a while as well. Another one of our favorite products for keeping us cool inside the house is this Iris USA Wuzu Oscillating Fan with Remote. This is a great fan because not only does it oscillate, but it is really quiet. It has different speeds. It also has like a natural breeze mode so that it kind of um, goes faster and slower to simulate a natural breeze, which is kind of nice. You can set it to oscillate, but you can also just make it stationary if you prefer. And it has a timer and uh, the remote is so convenient. It's just a great fan and we highly recommend this. So something I wanted before we went to Florida was a pair of quick dry pants or more like shorts or capris, something like that, because I knew we were going to be going to Disney World where we would probably go on some water rides and I wanted to have something that would dry quickly so that I wouldn't get any rashes or anything like that while I was walking around the park. And so what I found were these capris 
and I ended up buying three pairs of them. I absolutely love them. They're super lightweight. They are UV protected, so the sun, the heat doesn't absorb into them. They have a great pocket on the leg for your cell phone or whatever you might want to put in there, and uh, pockets in the front and in the back, and they all have zippers. They are lightweight, they are cool, they do dry quickly, and they're just super comfortable. So I love these as well. Another thing I love for summer are these lightweight chiffon kimonos from Amazon. There are so many different colors, patterns, and styles of these on Amazon, and they are really lightweight, so they're not hot at all. So if you want to just throw them over a tank top or a t-shirt to dress it up a little bit for summer, uh, it's not going to make you overheated or anything. And I just think the colors and patterns are fun and pretty. And so these are definitely one of my top picks. Another absolute favorite of mine are these Skechers Outdoor Lifestyle Sandals. These are awesome. I have had these for a couple of years and I wear them all the time through the summer and they have held up wonderfully. I love them because they have great arch support, they're very comfortable and they're cute and they go with almost everything because of all of the colors. I just love these so much. In fact, I actually went on Amazon uh, to get the link for these and I saw there was a coupon code and so I actually bought another pair for myself because I just love them so much. So these are definitely a top pick for me as well. So now let's talk about staying hydrated. This is very important during the summer and I have a few favorite items that help with this. So obviously water bottles are a big thing. One of my favorites is this thermo flask. Of course mine has stickers all over it, but uh, this thermo flask 40 ounce bottle and it comes with two different styles of lids. Uh, so I prefer the, the straw type and so I use this for drinking my water out of. I love that it has a larger capacity, but it's not super heavy. I love that it has this handle um, to carry it around with. And um, if you prefer to not drink out of a straw, the bottle top that you just remove the top and drink out of, it also has a handle as well. So um, this is my favorite water bottle. It keeps uh, cold things cold for 24 hours. It keeps hot things hot for 12 hours. And so uh, this is a great water bottle choice. Another water bottle that I really like, well, it's actually a tumbler, is this Bubba cup. And I like this because in my other water bottle with the straw, you don't want to put anything carbonated or anything like that. So I just use it for water only. But in this, I can put uh, carbonated drinks if I want to. I can put um, any type of, of drink in here and it's easy to clean, a little bit easier than the water bottle would be. And this keeps things cold a long time as well. So I love using this. So it kind of just depends on what style of water bottle or tumbler you like, but these are two of my favorites. So now let's talk about something to put inside your water bottle along with your water, and that is hydrating electrolyte packets. These are Ultima hydrating packets, and I chose these because I was looking for something that was low sodium because my husband's on a low sodium diet, and that's very hard to find in an electrolyte packet. So uh, I found these. They're also sugar-free, vegan, non-GMO, and um, they actually taste good. So 
Uh, I was really pleased with these. There are five different flavors in the multi-pack. I think you can buy uh, packets of just one flavor as well, but I highly recommend these. We used them while we were in Florida. They taste good and we didn't have any trouble with dehydration or anything, so highly recommend these too. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to some kind of personal care type items. And the first one is Lumi deodorant. And you have probably seen the ads on Facebook and YouTube and all over the internet, uh, TV uh, for Lumi. I got some from Amazon. I decided to try it and I thought that it worked really well. Now, it's not an antiperspirant, it's just a deodorant, so it's not gonna keep you from sweating, but I definitely believe that it, it does uh, take care of the odor. And so it claims up to 72 hours. I don't know that if I, if I prove that or not, but I felt like for as hot as I was in Florida and as much sweating as I was doing, I probably should have smelled a whole lot worse than I did. So I think I'm gonna credit Lumi for that. So uh, definitely maybe try this out. I tried the unscented, so I don't know what the other scents are like, but I, I was pleased with the unscented. Another product that is really helpful in the summer months is Body Glide. And they also make one that is for foot care. So the Body Glide is more for use to prevent rashes or chafing. And the foot one is to rub wherever your shoes might rub and cause blisters. And so if you're going somewhere where you're going to be doing a lot of walking, the Foot Glide is great for that as well as the Body Glide. This next product I actually heard about from Caitlin, from Crafts by Caitlin, and I know a lot of you watch her channel. She's amazing, so talented, and just a really sweet person. I love watching her channel. But she recommended this Arvizalia Hydrating Hair Mask, and I decided to try it because I've been looking for something uh, to kind of help my hair be a little healthier. And so I tried this and I agree with her. It is a great product. I use it once, maybe twice a week. And uh, just after you wash your hair, then uh, you kind of towel dry it. You put some of this in uh, for, and leave it for about five to seven minutes and then rinse it out. And it just, it makes my hair so soft and it just looks so much healthier and so, this was a good pick, Caitlin, and I'm going to recommend it as well. This next one I don't have a sample of because I used all of mine up, and so I don't have one to actually show you, but I will put in a screenshot here. It is Super Goop Facial Sunscreen. This is uh, just a really nice sunscreen to put underneath your makeup, and um, it stays on. It's not oily and greasy, and uh, it just feels really nice and it protects you from the sun. It is a little bit spendy, but if you're going to spend a lot of time out in the sun, I would highly recommend it because, you know, you only get one face, so you kind of want to take care of it. Okay, so now let's talk about just some miscellaneous things to use during the summertime. And the first one is this Chala Crossbody Cell Phone Purse. And I used this in Florida. I really liked it. It was the perfect size for putting uh, my cell phone in and it has some card slots so you can put um, some cash and some uh, cards in there. And then I put like a lip balm in there. It doesn't fit a lot, but it's really nice because if you're going to go to um, an event like art in the park or something like that or to a theme park or somewhere you know you can keep it on your body you have your phone and your money right here I picked this one because it goes with pretty much anything but they have so many cute designs and uh, honestly there were some that I I really struggled over whether to get those or to get this one but I used this every day on our vacation and so this is a great pick for summer vacation and just um, whenever you want to go out and not carry a big purse or bag. 
The next couple of items are for working out in your yard. And I know that's not super fun, but it's something that we usually all have to do during the summer. So a couple of things that Chris and I have found to be helpful um, are these next two items. The first one is this grass trimmer. It is rechargeable and so you just charge it up and then unplug it and then take it and just trim along your uh, grass anywhere that uh, you might use a weed eater. But I hate using weed eaters. Chris hates using weed eaters and they always like beat up your fences and your borders and your trees. This is a good alternative and so you can just go around your tree and just trim up the grass around the tree without damaging the tree. It works really good in landscaping areas just to give it a quick cleanup. So I really like this product. And this next item, Amazon wouldn't let me link to it directly. So I'm going to link to one that's almost identical. It has really good reviews, but if you search the Fiskars brand, um, you can find the one that I purchased um, on Amazon still as well. So this is the Fiskars Stand Up Weeder, and it is great for dandelions. So you just push it down right in the center of that dandelion and hold it down with your foot and pull backwards, and it pops that out of the ground, and then you can just take that and it's almost like cocking a gun and it just pops the weed off and you can just pop it into the garbage can or a bucket or wheelbarrow and it's kind of very satisfying to do and so uh, this is a great garden tool and one thing we love about it is you don't have to bend down at all because you stand up to pull the weed out and then you can just pop it off right into the garbage or wheelbarrow or wherever. So this is definitely a great addition to your lawn care tools. My last two items are great for coming in from a long hot day or working in the yard and whipping up some homemade ice cream. I love homemade ice cream and you know, the old fashioned way of putting the ice and the salt and all that. I mean, when I was a kid, I had to crank it, but you know, then have electric ones now, but um, it's just a lot of work and kind of a lot of mess. So uh, I love this Cuisinart ice cream and frozen yogurt maker. You just put the bowl into the freezer and freeze it overnight. And then you put all of your ingredients in that and let it mix up and in about 20 25 minutes you have homemade ice cream and it's just uh, so much easier and the last item are these one quart ice cream containers to store your ice cream in if you want to make several batches and you can store it in these containers these seal really well. They keep it from getting freezer burnt and having it form those ice crystals on it. Well, there you have it, our Amazon must-haves for summer. I hope you found something that will be helpful to you. And like I said, I will link to all of those items in the description box below. I do also want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I am just so grateful for all of you. I recently hit 80,000 subscribers and it just blows my mind. And I am just so thankful for all of you who have been with me for years and those of you who are new to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I hope you all have a blessed day. Kind of toe cramp. Ah, okay. Mm. I get toe cramps all the time. I need to eat more bananas. You need to lay down up there. Really? Whatever.